so excited uh, but today's video will be on my skin history slash skincare routine skin journey whatever you want to call it um ooh, sounds very exciting uh, but i've actually been getting questions from you guys asking me what i do to my face what do i do what do i do to keep my skin clear and um i mean it's not clear bear that in mind it's nowhere near clear but it was a whole lot worse so i guess i'm sort of qualified to tell you what i do to my skin to get it looking like this it's not it's not perfect but you should have seen me five years ago so if you are interested in knowing how i got here please keep on watching so a brief history of my skin so uh, I started getting um, pimples, let's call it jerawat, um, when I was 14, 15. Because this was the age where, you know, you meet boys, you get boyfriends, you gata gata, and then you get your heart broken, and you eat, and then you stress. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I went through that, and I got pimples. Okay, I'm not going to blame boys for it, lah, but hormones, you get me. Um, I started getting pimples, and... I, I like to squeeze my pimples and those left scars on my face. Really ugly ones too. Um, so my mom started seeing, you know, started realizing, oh my god, my daughter's so ugly. She didn't say, no, my mom does not think I'm ugly. But she said, okay, let's go bring you to a dermatolo dermatologist. Um, and they prescribed me with meds and it worked. I was on and off of it a couple of times, but it actually works. So I was on it for about a year and my skin cleared up. And um, I was happy. I mean, I, did, I wasn't getting like angry pimples anymore, but I still had bumps, which is totally fine compared to, you know, those angry jarawat that just wants to like eat you alive kind of thing if you, if you stare at it long enough. Um... So it cleared up, but then I started reading and hearing, you know, all of these adverse effects of, you know, being on this medication for too long. I can't remember the name. It was blue, if that helps. It was blue. You know, these, these are chemicals that you're not aware of. You don't know what they are. And as much as, you know, a lot of research has been done on it, um, just being dependent on it is just not good. So, so I decided to get off of the meds and you know so one of the reasons was because my tummy started feeling funny it didn't feel normal i don't know how to describe this to you the feeling to you but it felt felt weird and i noticed that whenever i take the meds on an empty stomach should not take that those meds on an empty stomach or ever i need to puke like i got nauseous and you know, I remember being at like a um, an open house and I took it in the car. I took the meds in the car without eating. I had Mentos, like a whole whole tube of Mentos. And you know, I thought that would like fill up my stomach, but it didn't. And I started puking. I started puking, ev okay, not everywhere, but in the toilet of like some random stranger. Okay, not random stranger, some auntie's house, the toilet. And I was just like at the toilet bowl puking my brains out so <laughs> so don't take those um on an empty stomach but basically this is not good the the effects of this medication was good on my skin but internally i don't know what it was doing to my body so i got off of it no my skin got really really bad and really angry so <laughs> I decided to go on this healthy journey, okay? So I started eating right. I started exercising, uh, working out. And uh, my skin got all right. It was okay. And then I entered school. I entered college. And, you know, I was very conscious of my skin. I felt like people were staring at me. So I started applying a little too much lah, makeup. I I can actually go to class with just a layer of you know tinted moisturizer. Honestly, it's not bad. Honestly, it isn't. But you know when your skin is like recovering, you shouldn't be putting all this stuff on your face because it just clogs everything up. So my skin got bad again. Like it was it was the air eh, angry angry everywhere, and I gave up. I just started like you know layering, covering everything up with makeup. So, 
people don't see. I mean, in pictures, I look great and all, but, you know, whenever I take off, you know, whenever I use the makeup remover to, like, take off my makeup, I'm just like, oh my god. It's like the cemetery of all my pimples on my face. So, um, yeah, I gave up. I just, I just relied on makeup. And I guess that's when my love for makeup actually, um, bloomed. Because I started trying, like, you know, different types of foundations, different looks, you know, experimenting with eyeliners and mascaras. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. So I'm not gonna blame, I'm not gonna hate on my pimples so much because hey, now I love makeup. I love it so much. So I think at that time, my skincare routine was very simple. I washed my face with this cleanser. I'm still using it now. Um, not the same one three years ago. This is a new one, just I ran out. But I'm gonna get a new one. I, I really like this stuff. Um, I was using this three years ago, two years ago, and it... It didn't help clear up my pimples, but it didn't like cause them. And at that point in time, I was just happy with not having new ones on my face, okay? Because I was already struggling with the ones I had on my face. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was this, and I think it was um, Clinique's DDM, DDMG, the, I can't remember what it, what it stands for, but I will list it somewhere, either here or in the description box below. Um, but... Yeah, it was this and the the moisturizer. That's it. And then makeup, like, obviously. So makeup help, like, no, no, like, I have clear skin. But uh, yeah, it was really really simple. I didn't bother. I was just okay. You know what? I'm gonna like have pimples for the rest of my life. So I transferred um, to the states to um, further my studies basically. I was doing a transfer program. So I was in the states, Ohio State University, Cuba guys. Um, and yeah, no one knew me. So I took that opportunity to go around without you know, wearing makeup. And the weather was good. It was fresh air, although it was hot because when I got there, it was still summer. So it was like scorching hot, but I wasn't wearing that much makeup. I mean, it was very minimal. I don't care if people didn't look at me or looked at me. I was just like, okay, I don't know you guys. F you. <laughs> okay, not F you. Mm -hmm. let's, not, let's not do that. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to, uh, you know, heal my skin. I wanted to take this opportunity to heal my skin properly without, you know, the help of makeup, you know, covering it up, clogging it up. And I started doing some research online on YouTube and I bumped into this video of this girl who was on this acne.org regimen and it changed my life. I was like, she had, her skin was ugly. And after like two months um, being on the regimen, um, is that right? Regimen? You know what? If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. I'm going to call it like Kit. Okay, um, after being on that thing, thing, um, her skin cleared up. So I was like, okay, I need to try this. And I ordered myself a kit online. And I got the full size because I was like, I was really sure this is going to work for me. And guess what? It did. It really worked. And, <laughs> um, the kit had a cleanser. And then this benzoyl peroxide and a, a moisturizer and this was like an this was just an extra thing that i got because that girl used it and her face is pretty i won't be pretty too uh this is glycolic acid and you're not it's not recommended for you to use this straight away but okay the the whole thing is just too long for me to explain to you because it's very... There's a lot of pantang. There's a lot of like, okay, when you're on this, you, you have to let it dry first. After washing your face, you have to let it dry for like five minutes and then you put it... So it was very, very tedious, to be honest. And I had no life in Ohio. So I was like, okay, I'm going to spend one hour applying this shit on my face. And it worked on my skin. I could I started seeing a difference in like three weeks and I was so happy. Um I mean I I wasn't wearing any makeup when I want when I was on this thing. I was just letting it breathe. It hurt, it, it dried up my skin, it 
it I don't know, it was just really, really painful. It was a painful, painful journey for me. But after three weeks of being on it, my skin started getting used to the product. So it didn't burn as much. But then I started seeing it, you know, I started seeing less bumps on my face. And that was, I was so happy, honestly. I was just like, wow. I can see, you know, like a patch of clear skin, which is so rare for me. Um, so I continued using it for six months. I'm so, so sorry that I don't have the products, the actual products with you to show me. I mean, I have the gel and the lotion, but that's about it. Um, the, and this is running out. I'm kind of scared. Um, yeah, so basically, I was on the thing for about six months and my skin was cleared. I can actually go out without a tinted moisturizer and I didn't mind. I mean, yes, there are still scars, but I'm just like, hey, I had no more angry pimples looking at you guys, you know, you know, scaring people anymore. And I was glad. I mean, I, as sad as this may sound, I was very insecure about my skin, so... It was just it was just a good feeling to not have that many pimples on my face, um, but after being at, uh, being on it for six weeks, I decided to not get dependent on it because again, I do not want to be dependent on anything. <sighs> anything, anyone don't mind. It. Anyone can. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is not funny. So, I started using. Uh, different products because I was I was brave enough to start going to the pharmacy for cheap a cheaper cleanser cheaper but good I was using um I was using Cetaphil for a while I was using this cleansing oil from Garnier 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 that brand uh but then when I okay so I graduated okay long story short I graduated and uh i went back to my himalaya uh i'm not sure if you can see it i went back uh to this this is my cleanser i use this to exfoliate my skin i do this at least twice a week or three times a week especially on my nose because i have blackheads that is one thing that i cannot get rid of I, if you have you know any tips on getting rid of blackheads please leave it leave it down let it someone's gonna laugh at me i know someone's gonna laugh at me leave it down in the comment box below because i i have that problem after cleansing my face i like to go in with this micellar water um and basically what this does is just it tones the face without drying it up i cannot use those alcohol based um toners because it just dries my skin up a little bit too much i mean i have oily skin and I, it can it probably can take you know those alcohol toners but i don't like how it feels i i mean i don't like how it, how tight my face feels after that so this this really works for my skin um and then i either go in with my moisturizer from philosophy it's called renewed hope in a jar philosophy live with optimism renew with hope I, it's okay i mean it again it didn't cause you know any pimples which is which is great for me i i can't complain it moisturizes my skin it leaves it you know plump the next morning and that's good in my book and i just started using this creme simone um night moisturizer brightening detox restorative light night moisturizer and it is it is good especially um under makeup i know it's like for nighttime but for some weird reason this works really really well under makeup um, of course with you know a primer um, but it makes my skin look baby soft and I like looking baby soft all over my body so that's it guys that's that is my skincare routine basically all this stuff so I hope this video helps you with your skin journey don't have I don't have any good advice to give you except for do your research do your research and just give it a goal just try 
try it for at least two, three, two, three months to just to see a difference in your skin because it's not gonna work in like two days, okay? Like in a week. You you gotta give it some time. So do your research, give it some time. Um, and then if it doesn't work for you, just move on to the next thing. That you will find something that will work for you. You will. Don't worry. If not today, tomorrow, not tomorrow, next year. To just just hold on. Hold on, baby. You, I'm I'm here with you. I am here with you. Uh, therefore, if you have any questions on the things that I mentioned in this video, um, if you want to know anything else that I did not mention in this video, please leave a comment um, in the comment box below. Did I say that right? Please comment down there okay so i hope everyone is enjoying their what day is it today i don't know enjoying their day um and until my next video i hope you guys have a wonderful one um let's end this video awkwardly lah since it's already like awkward already okay bye <laughs>